it's 3 a.m. and there's not a lot I can say. It's blurry. But Ben's loading the car and I think he's coming soon. Like I'm. Mm. I haven't called my mom. I need to call my mom and I'm in between contractions, but I I cannot handle this. This is so, so incredibly painful. Oh. So in between contractions right now, the nurse actually just came in and said that they're not even gonna check her or do anything. They're gonna get her into an actual like birth room because right now we're just in triage. So that's a good sign. They said they're just waiting to figure out what room she's gonna be in and then they're gonna move her over. It's already going better than last time because last time we were in here for like four hours. Three. Three hours. I literally, I forgot, I took away this. I forgot how much I hate this. Like I, there's nothing, there's really nothing I can do. Like I'm trying to the best that I can and like, it just sucks seeing her like in so much pain because Katie has a very high pain tolerance. It so, sure hurts. yeah, I know, baby. Really I know. Update How are you feeling? I'm about to have one. You are? Yeah. Oh, wow. Ow, 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 ow. All right, guys, do you want to talk to you about me too? Me? Okay. All right, so just a little recap. So we got into this room. It's now almost 4.30, um, and we haven't really told you guys what's been happening. So we got in here, they gave Katie an IV, and they actually checked her cervix, and she was around a three, which honestly, I was shocked with, and so was Katie, just because she's been having con con consistent, like, two-minute contractions for so long, and they've been so painful. Like, this is definitely way more painful than the first time. So we were kind of shocked by the three. And after they checked her cervix, they actually came in, and they, um, we're telling Katie that during her contraction, she's actually been accidentally pushing because she's been in so much pain. So they said really focus on your breathing and try not to push because it can make her cervix swell. She oh. said that if my cervix swells, the baby won't be able to come out. Yeah, because you're only a three. Yes, she I was. A two. A two and 80%, so now a three and 90%. 90%. My body just hates me. Like. <laughs> I, my body is just not made to go faster in labor, I guess. After we had that conversation, they were saying that the epidural was probably going to be another hour or so. But she offered us fentanyl just because she was in so much pain and to kind of stop that pushing when she's having a contraction. So the epidural is in progress. Everything is in progress. We should be another like 45 minutes or so in the epidural. But really? <laughs> I mean, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> but anyways, so epidural is in the progress because... She, Katie's in so much pain, so it's gonna be best for her. And we've already explained why she needs a epidural in previous videos because of her heart condition, so. Okay. Is it coming? Oh, wow. <laughs> Ow. That was a lot, first of all. Yeah, that was rough. It's now, what, 5.20? The anesthesiologist came in to give me my epidural. I don't even know, like. We don't know what happened. But. Well, okay, so you like numbed my back and that hurt. I felt 
everything he put in the catheter and he it's like sent a shock down my left leg and so I jumped and then he was like oh don't do that and I was like okay spontaneous reaction yeah right? like can't help that. and then after that I got shooting pain where did I get it? Your, to your, it was your left side of your head, and your right side of your head, and then you felt it in your neck. So then he's like, what's going on? Like, what are you feeling? And like, is it like, sharp? Because he was just, you know. Yeah. And then, um, apparently I have a lumbar puncture. Yeah. So he, like, punctured something on accident when I, like, moved. Yep. I'm tired as heck. And and that's then, all I have to say. She's tired. And we will expand on a further note. Hi, Aaron. Hi. Good morning. But anyways, yeah, she's been having a headache and they kind of just said that that was, so with the fentanyl they gave her, um, it was like two side effects were nausea and headaches. And then um, with the epidural, it's essentially the same exact thing. So what they think happened was that the side effects just stacked on each other. And then she had really, really bad headache pains. And also the fact that she threw up right after, or probably like 10 minutes after she got the epidural. So it's kind of just bad luck on what we had to do. But hopefully the hardest part of labor is over, hopefully. Katie's good now. She's not really feeling any of her contractions. She gets to get some sleep, but hopefully pushing goes well. All right, so you haven't heard much from me. I have been sleeping a lot. I've been in pain. Like this birth story so far is a little bit crazy. It is 8.15 now and she broke my water at eight and it was a lot. When they broke it, I felt how much it almost like hit my doctor. Uh-oh, I think your baby is calling. Oh, oh, here, hold this. Oh, oh, look. <gasps> Oh, she just woke up. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> What's up? Where are you? Where's like, mommy? <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a minute, what's going on? Aww. She's not talking. <laughs> she just woke up. She's like, where are you? Hi. Hi. Hi, darling. Hi, baby. She's like, where is everybody? I know, she's like really confused. All right, finish. Okay, I forget what I was saying, but I'll FaceTime. Um, but basically, you're saying that so far the birth story has been very crazy. Oh, True. So we've had a crazy time so far. So at five-ish, I was a four. I just got my epidural. It was terrible. Um, and then I fell asleep. Right afterwards, she gave me like a catheter and all that stuff. And um, I fell asleep after that until eight right yep and then i woke up mm -hmm. and they checked me and i was an eight and you woke up literally and said wow i feel great that's the first thing you said uh, well i had a headache i had oh my gosh it was so bad like i yeah i'll have to like explain everything later so i woke up i was an eight they broke my water and i'm terrified right now because you're yeah you're an eight and they're like well this could be i'm just when they said I was an eight, I was not expecting to be an eight. I probably would be crying right now if I was a 10 when I woke up. But like, I don't know, just having flashbacks of stuff with Ellen yeah. was just freaking me out. And but, I just don't want it to be the same. But you did tell the doctors about what happened last time and they're completely ready. They have medicine that's like literally right over there so that if it happens, they can just give you medicine yeah. and it's resolved. So I feel a lot better. You feel okay? I feel great. You know, like my, my I'm in eight, so. When they were putting your epidural in, I literally kept looking. I was like, is this almost done? Because you were in so much pain. Oh, I, I don't. I kept, I kept seeing your face, and like, so I'm like, this, this is bad. I thought. He was like, I don't even know. We won't, we won't go into that. When you were, when you were in a lot of pain, because last time you were not in this much pain. They were coming so fast. Yeah, it was like a minute and a half. And my body wouldn't even fully relax in between. Mm -hmm. When she told me I was a three, I was like, you are kidding me. Like. There's no... Yeah, no, I, I, we, we mentioned on here, like, I was like, I was so surprised. But I was genuinely like, last time I thought it was bad. And I was like, at, at the, yeah. like, how we started off, I was like, this is bad. This is worse. Yeah, I thought we were coming in and I was going to be six or seven. They're going to, they were going to be like, oh, yep. no time for epidural. So now it's 830. I'm still having consistent contractions. They haven't had to induce me. Yes. That's no Pitocin. I haven't 
said. And they're coming t two minutes apart, even right yep, now. You can't really see it because she kind of hid the rest of them, but look, they're still... She said they're upwards of t a minute and a half to two minutes apart. Okay, the good thing is it's still first period, so I can go back to school. <laughs> yeah, Aaron has school. Yeah, that's actually how okay. <laughs> Nervous energy. That's what you call this. Nervous energy. But you can take off your sweatshirt. It's cold. Where's the pink, Ben? Where's the pink? Face is a little bit thinner, maybe. She looks smaller. Her face does look smaller than Alice, yeah. No tears. Oh, look at her little spit. Oh. Mom, you remember her indented chin that I was talking about? Yes. She has that. She does have that, you're right. You saw that in the 3D? Yes. yes. Oh, don't cry, honey. <laughs> and Katie is chugging that Just apple okay. juice. Look at her eyes. And look at her eyes. Guys, she has blonde hair. She has blonde hair. We should pull back her hat. She has a show. lot of it. It's so long. You can't Oh, miss. look, she's like, Dad, don't do that. So, is it cold, baby? Oh, don't cry. We were talking about how different this situation was. Like, with Ella, like, Katie didn't get any of this time. And, like, she was being treated, Ella was being treated, but, like, it's so peaceful and calm. And, it is. And they haven't weighed her yet because they're just doing skin to skin. She's a champ. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. So Ben's trying to do skin to skin, but she wanted to suck on mommy's boobie instead. She's sucking on my bicep right now. Really? Like suction. Mm. <laughs> do you remember that? Like they suck on everything? I remember when I used to do it with Ella, like the little. Yes. Oh. How does it feel? She is so small. She's a big little one. She's ah, I know. Me. Okay. <laughs> she's like, why isn't there anything coming up? She's getting mad. No, well, she's not. I feel so good. I did not shake like I did last time. Like she's been on me for the past almost hour. Um, it's been really, really good. And she has my eyes. yeah, 
I, I don't know, my stomach is, like, the numbness is wearing off, so I'm getting so itchy. That's the only thing, and it feels so weird. I'm just glad that she's I here. Back to you. She's really it's trying okay. to get some help. Unless she starts crying, it's okay. I actually got so nervous, and I, like, I don't know, I did not want to push. I was really scared to push, and I only pushed for five pushes, and she was here. How are you feeling, Nana? Awesome. <laughs> that was so easy, so good, and you're doing great. Mm -hmm. She's beautiful, so. Oh, she's. Oh, that's for more. <laughs> she's <laughs> just. That is one cute little baby right there. Oh, oh my, my gosh, her eyes. Beautiful. Look at you, little munchie. Huh. So oh no, Nana doesn't have any of that. All right, it's time to go see how much you weigh. Seven. Six. Seven. That was a drink that I had no. Yes, that's right. <gasps> wow. That's so weird. You usually like this, don't they? Usually, yeah. But sometimes not. <laughs> Lots of that here. Yes, we might need two rounds here. <laughs> of shampoo? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's long right here. It is long in the back. Guys, well, I'm gonna stand over here, but Katie's all cleaned up. She has her wonderful di diaper on. Baby's all cleaned up. Her hair's clean. She has she had her eye goop in there, like, all cleaned up. And she has a little elf hat. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. Baby is chilling. She looks a little bit tired, but she's eating, which is good. Natalie actually left because we actually forgot Baby A's little name sign that we're gonna use for the name reveal, and we obviously need that. Um, also, I forgot a pillow and blanket, so Natalie is gonna go to our to our house and grab that stuff for us, and then she's also gonna go by her house and pick up Ella and bring Ella, which I am so excited for. Yeah, I want Ella to see her so bad. I want to see her reaction. So, all right, guys. Well, we're having a good time. And Katie had to go up and get the restroom. They're about to move us upstairs, but her epidural. We didn't really explain it very well. Um, lumbar. Puncture. puncture. So I have like he punctured my spinal fluid or something. Yeah, so there's spinal fluid going all the way up to her head and it's giving her a very, very or severe it's not going up to my head. I don't something, know. Something something is wrong, but um it keeps Anytime giving. I sit up I get a severe headache. That's a human that I'm holding. But she gets a really bad headache and she just sat in the wheelchair to move upstairs and she got hit like a 10 out of 10 pain migraine, so. And I couldn't even, I can barely open up my eyes right now and it but, feels so much better. So, so now we put her back in the bed. All right guys, so I'm in the elevator currently and as you guys just saw in that last clip, Katie's headache was so bad that she couldn't even sit down or stand up or do anything. They actually just transported her bed throughout the entire hospital and like the transportation time like expired so they thought they were kidnapping her. What the heck is that? Because her transport probably expired. Oh. You're stealing her. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> you gotta go back. Uh -oh. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> but the lady said that caffeine is really, really good for killing headaches. So there's a Starbucks in here, so I'm gonna get Katie a really strong caffeinated drink. All right. So Katie just had to go to the bathroom again. You okay? You good? Yeah. I've only had headaches since after she was born. Like, really bad ones. I had one yeah. right you had before. A, you had a few right before. Yeah. And so they gave me Tylenol. We're trying caffeine. We're kind of like doing all the remedies. To when we're going to, like, worst case. keep going up of mm -hmm. like. Severity. Yeah. So the next one. No, I think they already ordered me some. Something some, to go in my ID. Yeah. And then the next step is the nose thing. Yeah. And then after they. Do that then they may do like a something with my blood to put it back into my to to clog the leak in your sack in my sack so whenever she's laying down flat she's fine but as soon as she gets up yeah. like sits up or walks for like what that was probably two minutes where you just be no that was like 30 seconds 
she's being a little angel baby and she actually ended up scratching herself as you guys can see right there we didn't we did bring mittens but literally she scratched herself as soon as she was born right now how i'm doing right now with ella i won't be able to sit up to see them to hold ella to do anything so we're holding off on visitors right now just because i can't get up yeah or sit up. So. so we're gonna try to get you fixed doctors are working as hard as they can to get you whatever you need all right guys well that was a very very successful labor so much better than the first time with ella we are actually going to be outroing this video i know that the her migraine thing hasn't really been resolved yeah. but we have plenty of footage and we actually are going to get we're going to make a whole video about ella's reaction to meeting baby a for the first time that's what's going to be in the next video but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video it has been such an amazing experience i'm speechless <laughs> she's so beautiful she's so like everything, it's just awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Come back tomorrow to see my big sissy react to me. And we'll see you in the next one. Okay, goodbye.